Hi, my name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses. And over the past 10 years, I've been kind of in or around the property training environment. And I've seen some really big changes in that time. But over the last couple of years, I can't help noticing that I've seen one particular change that has actually got me slightly worried. And I wanted to share that with you today. I'm often being contacted by completely new property investors, people with literally zero experience. And they're, they're kind of coming into this environment uh, under the impression that they can make an absolute fortune in next to no time with next to no money. You see, they see property investing as being the answer to all of their problems. And as I say, they're often under the impression that this is, this is really easy. It's really easy to invest in property. And I guess we, as property trainers, are sometimes to blame for this impression. Now, I know that you can invest in property with next to no money, and goodness knows I've done videos on this exact subject. In fact, if you click on this link here, you'll see a video on eight ways to invest in property with literally no money. But I really hope I have never given anyone the impression that property investing is easy, or that you can replace your income in next to no time. In my opinion, property investing should never be viewed as a get-rich-quick scheme. If anything, I like to think of it as a get-very-rich-slowly scheme, and, and I think that's perfectly okay. So if you're starting out from scratch in this property environment and you're thinking to yourself you're going to make an absolute fortune in just a few months' time, respectfully, stop. You need to change that mindset, I would respectfully suggest. If you're planning on quitting your day job tomorrow to go full-time in property, respectfully stop. I think you need to change that mindset. You don't need the stress associated with giving up your job and then trying to get started from scratch in property. You're going to find yourself unmortgageable, probably. You're going to lose a, a massive chunk off of your credit rating, probably. You're going to be spending your savings whilst you're trying to build up a property-based income. Instead, keep your job, at least for the time being, and do property on the side part-time at least until you've replaced your income. Believe me, there is a huge difference between working in a job that you hate without any kind of a plan and working in a job that you hate whilst at the same time gradually building a residual property-based income. And if you're working some really, really, really long hours, can you maybe reduce those hours? I appreciate that this may mean a cut in a bit of the income that you're bringing in. But if you can live on that slightly reduced income, and therefore slightly reduced hours, of course, maybe that gives you just a little bit more time to focus some of your energy on property. Never ever forget that you're playing the long game. You're thinking years ahead, I would suggest, not months, or weeks. The only thing that really matters, as far as I'm concerned, in property investing is consistent, regular, weekly action. You should be taking small steps each week that's going to move you forwards. And if you want some help planning out a week, uh, can I suggest you click on this link here where I run you through a really great lesson on how to set up a default diary. That certainly helped me in the early days. Know from the outset that you will be making mistakes moving forwards, but that's perfectly okay. That's normal. You will get demotivated. You will want to throw in the towel. But again, that's okay. That's perfectly normal. <laughs> Goodness knows, I've made so many mistakes. You just need to take those regular, small, weekly steps forwards and be realistic about what you're aiming to achieve over the next six, 12, 18 months time. Now I know this video may sound a little bit negative and I obviously apologize for that. I don't like putting out negative videos. I need you to be successful though. And I recognize that sometimes new investors are, again, respectfully, unrealistic about what they're going to be able to achieve over a short time period. Play the long game. 
take take consistent regular action every single week and i promise you you will get there after all if i can do it anybody can <laughs> The key is that regular, consistent action. If you do that, as I say, I promise you, you will get there, you will replace your income, just don't expect it to happen overnight. I've put together a completely free mini course for you that will teach you exactly how Liana and I replaced our incomes. Simply click on the link here or in the description box below and I'll send lesson number one straight out to you.